Most of my family immigrated from Iran in the 1970s, but no one has been able to go back. This picture is around 65 years ago. When I hear a lot of these family stories, it's hard to have a real connection with that place because I've never been. But my family has used Google Earth to see those places. This is the neighborhood I used to ride my bike around. Today, I'm working on a project for my family on Google Earth. I'm mapping these family photos so that we can draw connections between the past and a new future. Today, we're putting together a digital tour of the Hudson River, highlighting some landmarks and other special places along the river in Google Earth. As an environmental advocacy organization, we're always looking for ways to connect people to rivers in an emotional way. The new creation tools allow us to put place marks, add photos and descriptions to really create a meaningful story. Today, we're working on a Google Earth project. We talk about how our community has grown up around a lake and how that lake has been kind of abused through pollution. My project is about the carousel that was around Onondaga Lake. The carousel was moved because Onondaga Lake got really polluted. As a community, we've all seen how that lake project has been cleaned up. Learning about where we live can benefit other people. Doing this project makes these places seem more real. I've been so fortunate to have these stories that have been given to me, and now I'm able to give something back to my family, and it brings me more context and understanding of what their lives were like. With this project, we hope that people will feel more connected to the Hudson so that they can reach out to their regulators, their decision makers, to ask them to do the right thing. The students are really proud because this is not just built for our little school community. We're making dynamic presentations for anyone on the planet to view and gain from. <laughs>